And I'm Daniel Bessman. We are from Green Mountain High School, and we are the Denver Museum of Sustainability and Progressive Sciences. <clears throat> so, we chose the, Den the downtown Denver location because we figured sustainability and technology would be a good, it would be a good fit. Also, the area was uh, good for transportation. We have a lot of bus stops and a lot of um, community access. Um, here is our landscape plan. Um, in our landscape, we have two water fountains with sculptures, and um, we have a mainstream water flowing from the building towards the street. Um, over the stream is a stone bridge, and we have bike racks with um, solar panels on top of them. Um, the parking lot is behind the building, and some of the parking lot is also under the building. Uh, here are some parts about the landscape design. Um, we are on a relatively flat urban site, so we slightly graded everything to drain the water into zero scape regions for the plants, into the forest pavement, and into our water features, including our open algae pond fountain features and mainstream. Um, the algae and some mechanical features will naturally filter that water. Um, across the site, we have wind turbines, solar panels, hydro, and algae concentration. And the overall landscape is plenty of shade, as well as very grand and welcoming experience. Uh, this is a list of our planting species. I go ahead. <laughs> uh, all the plants, or most of them, are going to be native. The ones that are from other regions across the world are going to be very uh, cohesive with our kind of environment and well adapted to survive here. Um, we want lots of trees for shade in a really hot urban city. And we also want plenty of color, as you can see, with plenty of yellows and reds. Um, it's also really relaxing for a city environment. We have a natural garden and a snout world. And right here, you got your white fur, you got some like blue spruce, some natural rub brush from around here, and even some hawthorn. This is our site plan. Um, we have our We just wanted a very natural, friendly view. Uh, this is uh, part of our site plan. It's the basement area. Um, we designed it to have it so that the semi can enter the, enter the basement and drop off new exhibits or items for our food court, gift shop. And then there's also a um, glass elevator shaft that runs from the top of our building to the bottom. And you can see it in most of the pictures and that runs from our basement to the top to provide natural light. Now this, this is our floor plans. We've got the first floor has our atrium and the entrance and the auditorium. The second floor, the auditorium goes into the second floor with balcony seating. And the third floor has most of our gallery space. Um, and as you can see, the glass elevator goes all the way down, allowing natural light to flow through the entire building. Um, our design includes a lot of walkways around the outside of our building, making for easy transport of people from um, the sidewalks and bus stations around around our site to our main building. Um, it features a green roof, um, and a lot of the, the area around our ground is also very green and friendly and inviting. We also plan to use salvage materials from the previous building that's on our site. This is a Google SketchUp of our auditorium. This is kind of my pride and joy. I put a lot of work into it. And um, it seats around 350. Um, got Iron Man on the stage for scale. 
Uh, and you can see the balcony. This is a view from the stage up to the balcony. This is a view from the balcony up to the stage. And this is just an overall view of the entire auditorium. And the stage has a hydraulic lift, so you can lower it down in, on, into the basement, pack the uh, exhibit or whatever you were putting on the stage, and just raise it up. So mechanical and electric design. Um, our theme is a lot around alternative energies, and that's a very common part of a lot of our designs. The structure itself has just about every different alternative energy we can think of, from wind turbines on the top of our lighting to a hydroelectric generator, just for an example, in our stream, solar panels on our roof and on our bike racks, <coughs> and just a lot of different areas around our museum that um, show what we want the future to hold in store for us. On the inside of our building, we plan to use efficient lighting with a lot of um, the new compact, compact fluorescent light bulbs. Along with natural lighting, we also plan on using a see-through solar panel system that's demonstrated in your life on the lower left. And it allows you to go up to it, look out, but it still creates electricity with horizontal solar panels. This here is our uh, schedule. It's estimated to take about 16 months. Um, most of the construction is to be relatively quick with the slight grading and the internal building of the structure. Most of the time, however, will be dedicated to mechanical systems and the interior design as you saw in the pictures. This is our cost estimate. Um, our budget was $15 million and it came about under, just about under $14 million. Um, most of our money went to uh, the camera systems and power lighting and sound and things like that. This is our lead scorecard. We got a score of 60, which makes us gold certified. It's very important to us to become gold certified at least, and we barely met that requirement. And in the future, we plan to do more and become better. Thank you everyone for your time, especially the ace mentors.